He's peeing right now. I don't know if you can see this, but he's peeing at the moment. I can't zoom in far enough, but he's peeing, and he just put his nose in it. Ew, you dirtbag. That's going in for sure. Okay. Thoughts on what's gonna happen when we get there? When we get there or on the plane? Forget about the plane. Forget about. Hey, back when we filmed this series, we were still pretty new to being on camera and filming ourselves all the time. So there was a bit of confusion, and that's why I said that. this is gonna be a real problem when I use the other camera. You're gonna have to not look at yourself on the screen. <laughs> I don't want to look at myself on the screen. So what do you think is gonna happen? I just want to get through the flight. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. Okay. We gotta go over the Rockies. We board in. We board in 35 minutes. So when we get there, what do you want to do? It's gonna be like 9:30. Have a glass of wine. It's too late. I want you to repeat what you just said. Now? Yeah. Oh, that I don't think we've ever had the same exact food before. <laughs> now, does it bother you that we're getting the same thing? That's an internal mental problem that I don't want to discuss <laughs> <laughs> to the people. <laughs> Treat this like therapy, babe. It's a really good shot, by the way. Okay. No, I'm just saying. God damn it, the oh. way it's framed. <laughs> Drink my tea. And what are your thoughts? Good, right? It's good. Okay. Oh, Bye. 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 Love you. I love you. How are you guys doing? I'm still getting used to walking around with the camera, and people are definitely very confused with what I'm doing. All right. Bag secured. We got some donuts here. And they are indeed mini. Shout out to the mini donut company. Um, I feel a little weird sitting on a bench here because <sighs> Portland, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's uh it's a city going through an identity crisis. That's what I can say. You know, and I try to sympathize because there's a lot of reasons why that can be for a place. I'm having a hard time finding a reason to stick around. That's a good thing we're not. So here's the deal. Here's what we're gonna do. We are not staying in Oregon. We're gonna be doing some wine. We're gonna be doing some national parks. It's gonna be a little bit of a on the move kind of a trip, and I think it's gonna be good for us. It's gonna kind of push us a little bit in terms of the space that we're gonna be living in. This is gonna be a trip of exploration, discovery, pushing us to our limits, and really seeing what we're made of. And my hope is that we can kind of come out on the other side of it stronger and more sure of the future so for now I'm gonna get the fuck out of here because I'm currently across from a tent where a dude is maybe sleeping maybe not I'm not really sure but I'm gonna get the fuck out of here so and then after meeting back up with Karen at the hotel hi did you miss me and a slight mishap while checking out of our hotel our door doesn't work and our Uber driver is waiting downstairs, and I'm sweating my balls off. It was time to get on the road to Hood River, Oregon to pick up our new home for the week. It's Brittany, bitch. Hop in, let's go. It's fucking hot out, let's go, come on. Let's, let's, let's. All right, all right, I'm gonna walk around. Okay. Here we are, Cannon Beach, Oregon, on the Oregon coast. As you can see, it is hazy outside and it is beautiful. So 
we spent a little bit trying to find a parking spot and uh, you know the old rig it don't fit in a normal spot and then in the course of doing that we found a whole family of giant elk, elk. live real fucking elk and uh, they're right on the side of the road somebody's house kind of cool and now it's cold oh <laughs> There you are. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, oh, that's way too close. Oh, it's fucking gorgeous. Are you kidding me? But we've seen a whole host of weather today. It was like 60 degrees and sunny this morning. They got up to like 80 in wine country. And now, I think we're okay. What's going on, guys? And now, we're like literally in a tsunami zone somehow. All right, well, this is pretty wild. So we are now by the Haystack Rock, and it's pretty f***ing cool. I mean, this is, this is not like other beaches. First of all, it's, it's big. It's f***ing massive. Like, the shore is just wide, which, being that I'm a head from New Jersey, is not something I'm used to. However, it's pretty cool. That wet sand, that might be as far as I go. That wet sand is gonna be, well, come on, we gotta touch the fucking ocean. We're right here. We're touching it, we're touching the ocean. I don't care what she says, we're, we're, we're doing it. What? You dropped it? Dropped her phone. Jesus, can't take this one anywhere. It's definitely really fucking cold. I don't wanna, I don't wanna undersell this. This is probably not the best day to be doing this, but it's the day we're here. So here we go. Let's go. Yes, we're in the Pacific Ocean, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> and I can't feel my feet. All right, we're about to depart. Give them a little 360. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to be. In. You're, okay. the, you're the star, baby. You're the star. <laughs> Thoughts? It's beautiful. It's very interesting with the dark sky and everything. It's like you could really get lost in kind of like just the, the mist. Like look down there, look south. Yeah. The camera's probably not doing it justice, but it's just eerie. And our feet are still in the water. Alright, don't sell those. Make some money. There's probably some sick fuck who would like my feet. As fucked up as they are. <laughs> Anybody who runs will tell you that your feet just get annihilated. And there's literally nothing you can do about it. You can put the wraps on, you can put fucking Vaseline, you can do whatever you want. They're gonna get destroyed. Good news about that is it toughens them up for when you put them in the fucking Pacific Ocean, man. This is really cool. Especially like at night in this kind of environment with this one. I love you. Well, you can't see us right now, and that's because we're f***ing stealth camping. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Hi. Alright, we're doing it. We're <laughs> at an undisclosed location. We're doing it. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. Peace. Alright, it's been an interesting 12 hours. So, last night we were all settled in ready to camp at an undisclosed location. I can just tell you, it is an RV parking lot in uh, Cannon Beach, Oregon, right up the street from the beach. Would have been great. And then around 11.30, police officer shows up knocking on the door. You guys can't park within city limits. So we had to move with about no notice. Now we had kind of been keeping an eye on a town called Seaside, and we were gonna try to park in one of the hotel parking lots. That didn't work. So we wound up at good old Safeway. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. In the viewfinder, okay. Yeah. Good old Safeway, so we slept here last night. Uh, there was a lot of activity when we first got here. I was a little iffy about it, but it turned out to be a pretty decent night. And uh, yeah, now we're heading out. We're gonna visit some wineries today. Any thoughts? 
<laughs> okay, cool. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> we spent the afternoon sampling some of the best wine in the country with some beautiful views and enjoying what would turn out to be some of the only relaxation time we were going to find on this otherwise very busy trip. All right, so Willamette Valley, wine country in Oregon. What do you think? We need to come back. Yeah, I, I would say. It's been a very long weekend just doing winery. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty wild. Like, a lot of people may not necessarily think and if they do think wine in the U.S., it's probably Napa, which makes sense. But, like, if you're into wine and if you're planning on coming to the West Coast, don't sleep on the Willamette Valley. Yep. Definitely check it out. And plan to spend a little bit of time and a little... I know. Also plan to spend some cash. Yeah, that's it. So, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> it's not... Um, I think Kirkland's $5 a bottle. Yeah, no, it, no, it sure isn't. <laughs> now, earlier that day, I said this. So hopefully our overnight parking situation is a little easier tonight. But we were starting to figure out that finding a place to sleep every night is not always so easy. We got fucking hosed. We got hosed. So now we're on to tomorrow, trying to find tomorrow's. And I can't click submit requests for this thing. It's not letting me. <laughs> And I'm just a little bit frustrated. All right. Oops. We're on the Watchman Height from Crater Lake National Park. How are you feeling? Cold. Yeah. So it's about 40 degrees, very low visibility, as you can see, but we're doing okay. Yeah, so I mean, mm -hmm. trees look nice, but can't see anything else. Remind you of Christmas? Hi. Yeah, it's a little tough out here right now. And uh, it's nice, it's beautiful, it's quiet, but trails is easy enough, but it's just fing. <sighs> no visibility. Keep going, we'll see. We get to the top and we find. Well, we're here. Oh, yeah. What do you have to say? It's sad, yeah. The view is something else. But as we were making our way back down, the weather broke a little bit and this happened. Actually, things can't go our way for too long. And of course, later that day. We currently have very little gas. We're on the 30. Pro the problem is we're on a very remote road. And uh, <laughs> there's nothing around. So okay. Boy, these uphills ain't helping our gas mileage. Come on, Bertha. Let's go. <laughs> All right, good luck. 